YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. This is uh, my son's 2001 uh, Mazda Miata. And uh, by the time you see this video, it'll be two weeks we've had it. We've done a lot of stuff to this. As you can see, this tail light sits nice and flush in there. It's not perfect, but it's better than what it was. And you can see this side here. I've been, I showed my son a little bit how to do body work, and then I just let him run with it and told him to figure it out because I want him to be able to not be scared to try stuff and that's the whole purpose of why I bought this car is a lot I have a lot of people that watch the video of me uh, where I posted it I bought this uh, $200 car Mazda Miata for my son and uh, I think he did a good job what do you, what do you think son yeah I did a good job yeah right yeah you learned something that you didn't learn before right yeah Let's see so this car right here, we're going to get a new tail light. I just wanted to show that this used to stick out. If you saw in the picture, this used to stick out big time, and it fits so much better. And he, he did a good job, you know. And then we, this isn't important. This is not the important. The important lesson here is that don't be scared to try stuff because you can't mess up anyways because it was already damaged. It was already smashed in. So he learned uh, that just by trying, he can make it look, even though this doesn't look perfect, uh, he can make what it did look like better than what it is. Let me go from a different angle. It looked so bad before, and I'm really proud of him that he did uh, such a good job. I just showed him. I started him off, and I just showed him, you know, just the basics. I don't have... The tools I used to have to do, but I know how to do body work. I can make this car look brand new if I wanted to. But the point I'm trying to do here is teach my son. I, I don't even care that this car is doesn't run. I mean, it's almost running now, but that's not the point. People are missing out on the whole purpose of why I bought this car. I understand that you, you watch my videos and you think you might know me, but you really don't know me or my family. And I got so many people, I got good comments, and I got bad comments, and I got really negative comments about this car. How people are like, I can't believe you bought him a, a car that doesn't run. Well, you don't, you don't know my son, right? You don't know me, you don't know my family. If you've been watching long enough, you, what you do know is I like to teach people stuff. Right? I already know how to work on cars. I'm not a mechanic, but I know how to work on cars. I taught Everything I learned, I taught myself. So I can get this car running and driving if it was just for me, no big deal. But the purpose is I'm trying to teach my, my son life values, all right? I'm trying to teach him to look at something and be able to visualize what it can be. And I'm trying to teach him confidence, to not be scared in life. There's a lot of people that live in fear and that are scared to do anything, you know? They're, they're scared to go try and get a job they're scared to ask a girl out or a guy out they're scared to just do their dream they you know they set these goals but they're scared to follow their dreams you know make those goals turn into reality you know it's like this tiny house I've never built a tiny house in my life or ever put up a gazebo or built a pro I didn't let that stop me I'm an extremely confident man I am so confident and my wife is so confident but you're not born with confidence. I was a very, very shy, timid kid when I was my son's age. I was very nervous. But you have to learn to be confident. Nobody's born with confidence. You have to be, you have to learn how to be confident. You have to have, learn to have belief in yourself. All right? I always had belief in myself, but I never had anybody there to point me in the right direction to teach me how to focus those beliefs into reality. This, what this, this is what this car represents, all right? This car represents you can do it, all right? I mean, it's a beautiful car. My first car that I had was a 1961 Plymouth Valiant convertible. And it didn't even have a top. It was completely gone, had dents all over it. It barely ran. Uh, I figured out how to get it to run. My next door neighbor had it, and he wanted to get rid of it, and I bought it off of him. 
from doing yard works and stuff like that, catching snakes and selling snakes. I made my own money and I bought that car and I taught myself how to drive a stick shift. It was a three on a tree, what they call three on a tree on a column, stick shift. I taught myself how to drive. This is a stick shift. My son knows how to drive this car very well. This, he has no clue how to drive. So I want to teach him to learn how to drive a stick because anybody could drive an automatic. Very few people can drive a stick. I want to teach him how to work on it. I want to teach him how to visualize in his head that this looks nice, but he can make it look even nicer if he wants. But if he doesn't want to, hey, I, it's no, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. I just don't ever want him to let fear control him. And this is beautiful, as you can see. Look at the wheels, how nice. He did a great job, extremely great job, you know, taking these wheels off and cleaning them. I could care less if I ever get this car running. You know, my wife knows what I'm trying to do, and she's backs me up 100 percent you know I may never get that running he, he doesn't even have a permit yet you know he's scared to get take the permit test so I'm not here to rush him to do anything but I want him not to be scared I keep telling him you can do it son just take it if you failed you got two more tries no big deal you know it's like the same thing with this house people are telling me oh my god I can't believe you're gonna sell your house and and, and start all from scratch again I'm not scared to start from scratch. It's not the first time my wife and I have ever done this. You know, my wife and I have been together 20 years and we've bought and sold homes and flipped houses in so many times in the last 20 years. I mean, if you watch my videos and been following me for a long time, you know, you know, you know a little bit. But you guys don't know everything about me. So, to all the haters out there and the negative people that say, oh, you suck, man, you bought them a broken car. You just don't understand me or what I'm trying to do. That is a tool, right? You send your kids to school, you give them, you know, buy them books and clothes and stuff like that so they can learn. Well, this is just, this is a learning tool, you know? This isn't, you know, most people that are watching this already know how to drive a car. They're not driving an automatic or a stick. You know, they know you, you need a car from point A to point B. Right now, my son can't, he can't drive. He don't have a per permit. He doesn't have a license, so. It doesn't matter if this car is running today or tomorrow, a month from now or six months from now. You know, even when he gets his permit, he can't drive alone by himself for six months. So, you know, the minimum I have is six months to continue to teach him. You know, before I bought this car, he knew nothing about cars. He knows how to change the oil. He knows how to change the tire. He knows how to jack it up correctly. He knows how to do a little body work. This is, this is a teaching. This is a tool. And that's what I'm trying to show people who watch my videos who might, you know, be thinking about having kids or have kids and don't know how to teach them. Uh, there's a lot of parents out there that don't know how to talk to the kids. I communicate with my kids constantly, you know, and I have three kids. I got a 33-year-old daughter. I have a, uh, a daughter that's going to be 18 and my son's going to be 16 soon. So, you know, all three kids are different. You know, they all act different. They all have different personalities. And as a parent, when you have multiple kids, you know what kid needs more help than the other kid, and you know which one of your kids is like can figure stuff out. My my daughter, I would never buy this car or do this for my youngest daughter, the one's going to turn 18, because she could care less about cars. She she don't even want to drive right now. She has no interest in driving, getting a license, or cars, or anything like that. So. That's why I didn't buy her a car first. She's older than my son. But my son keeps telling me, Dad, I want a car, I want a car, I want a car. Because so all his friends, peer pressure, you know, they're peer pressuring him. You know, we got a car, I got a truck, I got a motor. You know, so I don't want him feeling left out. So I, went, I got him a very nice sports car. Yes, to some people that are negative, my, ah, it doesn't ride, it's got a dent in the back. You know, why kind of, the top sucks, you know. Listen, I've already researched everything. I can get a new top for 150 bucks. My son did that body work. That's his, that's his work. He even painted it. And although it doesn't look perfect, it looks way better than what it did look like. So I'm teaching him confidence, right? I grew up without a father. My father died when I was 10 years old. My mother never, ever remarried. My mom worked three jobs. She was never home. You know, so... Pretty much, I raised myself and my younger siblings, and my my old. You know, we got eight, eight kids. So, 
I didn't have anybody to teach me that kind of stuff. That's why I have no fear. That's why I'm not scared. I don't let fear scare me. I could care less about this house. We lived here 10 years. Yeah, I've done a lot of work to this house and this property, you know, the tiny house. It doesn't matter. It's just materialistic stuff. This stuff does not matter to me. I could sell this today and be gone tomorrow and wouldn't think twice about it. Yeah, I got a lot of memories here. Ten years is the longest I've ever lived in this one spot. But I don't let fear control me. All right? I'm not scared to try stuff. If I fail at something, all right, why did I fail at it? I figure out why I failed at it, and then I go back and retry it again. Never let fear stop you from doing your dreams or your goals. Right? That's exactly what they are. Dreams are, are just goals until you go forward and make that dream into a reality. And a lot, unfortunately, a lot of people let fear stop them. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you guys wouldn't even imagine the kind of comments and emails and private messages that I got saying how crazy I am for selling this property and moving. This is not, this is not my home, all right? This, yeah, I live here and I've been here for 10 years, but my home is with my family. Wherever my family is, that's my home, all right? So it doesn't matter if we have this. I'm not scared to sell this and start from. I could buy a piece of property, have nothing, and live in a tent. As long as I'm with my family and we're happy, that's all that matters. And it's, this is not like this is the first time that my kids have gone through this. You know, we had a house in Florida that was a beautiful house, was even nice, way a hundred times nicer than this. You know, and I packed up the kids and sold that, and we moved to Indonesia, and we built homes in Indonesia, beautiful homes. If you you know, follow my videos what I did in Indonesia and we packed up and the kids and the family we sold that stuff and we moved to another spot and we just that's what we do so I understand when people watch my videos you think you know me but you really you guys really 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 don't know me All right? I'm a very confident person my wife's very confident and we're trying to teach our children to be confident and to believe in themselves to achieve their dreams and their goals and never ever 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 let fear or doubt just because somebody else says they can't do it they think that you can't do it don't ever believe that because it's not true right you can do anything I don't care who you are you can do anything and if you try to do it and you fail at doing it we'll figure out why you failed at doing it and then try it again never give up never let people tell you that you can't do something because that's their limitations that's their fear stopping them don't ever let fear scare you or stop you from doing something, you know. And that's what this car is about from my son. I don't care what anybody else out there says. Oh, that car sucks. I hate Mazdas. Mazdas suck. They break down all the time. They, they're, they're not reliable. I don't care, all right. Six months from now, my son could be like, you know what, Dad? Yeah, this is a nice car, but I don't really like it. Can I sell it? Let him sell it. I could care less. You know, maybe, or even maybe six months, like I was talking to my wife last night. Uh, you know what? I think maybe after we sell the house, I'll just buy him a really nice car. But I want to teach him to, to appreciate what he has until then. You know, and then if he wants to keep this and the other car that I buy him, who knows what I'm going to do, right? He has that opportunity. I think it's a beautiful car. It kind of looks like a, a, a Porsche Carrera to me. And even if he doesn't want it, I'll keep it for myself. I like it. He likes it, though. But I am learning he's not a car guy. I'm not going to force that on him either, though. Just look at this work he's done. Look how beautiful the wheels look. Those things were filthy. Look at this. This is his first time ever doing body work. Look how good of a job he did. This used to sit like this. You couldn't even you couldn't even put it in there at all. Now look at this. It's perfect. It's not exactly perfect, but almost. All right. Building up his confidence, teaching him to believe in himself that he can do it. He he even looked at me and he would tell me, Dad, what do you think? I said, Well, you can push it out here a little bit more. You know, keep putting that tail light, keep checking it, testing it. You know, get it a little bit better, hit it a little bit more. You know, I'm teaching him without him actually understanding that I'm really teaching him. He's learning life lessons here. When he's 30 years old, he's going to look back and he's going, oh my God, my dad showed me this, my dad showed me that, because of my dad taught me this. You know, I'm teaching him how to be an adult, right, by believing in himself. This, this is, people, when they watch the video, they're just, they're looking at 
just the car and they're not looking at what I'm trying to achieve in the long run down the road that's what I do to my for my children that's what I do with these videos I want you to have an open mind when you watch these videos I want you to look at the message that I'm trying to send out there to anybody who's watching it and when when you get the message it will resonate with you and you are oh I understand what he's doing oh it makes sense now right it's not about the car who cares about the car it's about having confidence in yourself and don't live your life with fear because fear will cripple you you have to control your fear believe in yourself right this is just materialistic stuff this means nothing right this could be here today and gone tomorrow so that's my message today I hope you guys like these videos and remember you know have an open mind be kind to people treat people the way you want to be treated and if you like these kind of videos give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button it doesn't cost anything it's for free and thanks for taking the time to watch my videos I'm gone <laughs> I'm gone <laughs> have you ever felt are you listening damn Yeah.